Alright guys, so I am on my way to, wait for it, the hot spot for a Craigslist deal. The guy sent me some pictures of a Nintendo with a, if I had to guess, probably like 20 or 25 games. He asked how much I would offer after I asked how much he wanted for it. And he goes, how much would you offer? And I'm like... I thought about it, I was gonna offer 50, but I figured he would always come back with a uh, counter offer. So I went with 40 and he took it. So I'm here and I think he is. So I will see y'all in just a couple minutes. So that Crown Vic just pulling away right there. Um, fast and easy transaction, $40. And Nintendo console, zapper gun, two controllers, and a whole bunch of games. So we'll go over it when we get back to the house. See you in a little bit. All right guys, so this is gonna be a pretty short recap pickup video. I didn't have too much going on. I did get a few things at the flea market and I have one pretty decent sized Craigslist deal. So we're gonna dive on into it and get it going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover just the very few things that I picked up at the flea market this past weekend. There really wasn't too much out there, but there was this lady who was selling a Wii system with about 20 Wii games. She was wanting too much for the entire lot. However, she was asking $5 a piece on the games. So I ended up picking these up to add to my collection. Um, not huge deals, but uh, I definitely paid less than what they're going for. I have I got a complete copy of Obscure the Aftermath, Resident Evil Archives, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Archives, Resident Evil Zero, and all of these were complete, uh, five bucks a piece, not bad. And that's basically all I found. I was headed back to the truck. I happened to stop by one vendor's uh, booth and was able to grab Mario 3 on the NES for five bucks. So that really recaps my entire flea market pickups. Let's move on to my Craigslist pickup and it's a pretty big one. All right, so this guy responded to my wanted Craigslist ad, basically said he had a Nintendo with about 20 games, sent me the picture of it, asked me how much I was willing to pay. I asked him how much he was looking to get first, and he's like, just throw me an offer. I was gonna offer 50, but I decided to go ahead and shave a couple of bucks off, so I offered 40, figuring he would talk me up to about 50 or 60 bucks, which I would have happily paid anyways. So I shot him 40 bucks, he said, let's go ahead and do it. So I was able to save myself a little bit of money um, instead of paying the $50. But this is what I got. I got a uh, zapper gun, two NES controllers. This one is uh, pretty yellow and it's starting to chip at the corners. I took it apart and cleaned it, um, works perfectly. And this one didn't really need much cleaning, but this one also works perfectly. And I also got a Nintendo Entertainment System. Um, there is some slight yellowing at the front, and that's basically it. There's no yellowing at the back or the bottom. Um, it's just like right here on this corner, uh, up in the front, is just the yellowing. I did take this completely apart. Uh, the 72 pin connector did not need re replaced. It was actually super tight. Uh, I'm really surprised. It, it had to have been replaced at some point before, just because of how tight it was. Um, but I took it completely apart. I disabled the 10 Nest chip so the light doesn't uh, flash anymore. And it usually works most of the time on the first try, if not the second try. You don't have to try about 10 times like uh, like any other NES that you just randomly find. Um, so I was able to get that, the controllers, all the hookups, and the gun, and then these games. I'm gonna start off with the more uh, common titles. Just gonna fly through this. Caveman games. Metal Gear, common, but really good. Bad News Baseball, Top Gun, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, also a pretty fun game. Bases Loaded, Road Blaster, The Karate Kid, Super Off-Road, Excite Bike, I Know Kung Ooh. Hoops, Pro Wrestling, Wrath of the Black Manta, Rad Racer, Jaws, 
Super Mario Bros, and Duck Hunt. And that wraps up the more common titles. Um, I'm going to go over the uh, lesser common titles. Uh, nothing really rare or really, really uncommon. Um, just these games tend to uh, go for a little bit more. Metroid. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. A lot better than the first one. Paperboy. And it's really crazy because the price on Paperboy, I feel like it's gone up quite a bit over the last couple of years. I really thought this game at one point was like seven, eight dollars. I think it's closer to like eighteen, nineteen dollars now, which is a uh, pretty crazy. Super Mario Brothers two, Super Mario Brothers three. So that is uh, two copies of this I got this week. Double Dragon. Uh, this one doesn't really go for too much, um, but it's a, it's a really good game. Ninja Gaiden 2. And then this game wasn't even in the picture because he left it in the console. So I didn't even know I was getting this game. So when I paid for everything and I took it back to the house, I brought it here, I was cleaning everything out, and of course, you know, got to test the console. So I open it up and uh, there was a game inside and that was Super C, which is a very, very fun game. Um, not, not as fun as Contra, but fun nonetheless. All right, guys, so that's it for this pickup video. Um, I know it wasn't too much, but I feel like it was enough to uh, go ahead and throw out a video, and that way I don't backlog myself like I did with the other video. I went about two, maybe closer to three weeks of just pickup stuff that I uh, was just piling and piling and piling, and it just became way too much. Um, so go ahead and just leave a comment below. Let me know what you think the best game I picked up this week was and don't forget to thumbs up the video subscribe to my channel and i will talk to y'all later peace oh hey guys one last thing i forgot to mention um i did actually end up getting something not retro well not really retro but it is kind of retro anyways um as you can see right over here i was able to grab if i can get it off the shelf without uh, knocking everything over I was able to grab the Mega Man Legacy Collection on the 3DS with the gold Mega Man Amiibo. Um, had no intention on opening it because really the six games I could you know play uh, with you know on my Nintendo. So I uh, just really wanted it for a collector's piece and it really is awesome packaging. My only gripe about this is I uh, watched a couple unboxings online and the Mega Man Amiibo itself is in a packaging. However, there's no like artwork on the uh, cardboard. It's just white cardboard with a plastic bubble. Um, so that, that's really a shame because I was honestly hoping for s some sort of awesome artwork. But nonetheless, a really cool piece. And uh, I also was able to uh, grab this on an online auction. I ended up paying 20 bucks for it, which is a pretty good deal. Um, and it's complete inbox The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It is the uh, player's choice version. I have the uh, non-player choice version right here. Um, not really going for every variant, but it was a pretty decent deal, so I went ahead and snatched that up. And uh, yeah, so that is it, and I will see y'all later. Peace.